Hello, good evening. I am back with an update of my today's uh, Nifty Futures trading and Nifty Futures and Options trading strategy update. So today has been a horribly wrong day for me and I am sitting with more than 20,000 loss because my, still my positions are uh, very conservative. I have only one lot of futures short and um, about three lots of nifty call options 18000 uh, 29th september expiry shorted yesterday yes yesterday i shorted around this level around uh, 17000 360 360s whatever 360 kind of level so you can imagine the kind of hit i have taken so one of the best hedge is the conservative position sizing that means if, if i would have i, 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 I would have uh, shorted uh, two lots of nifty futures and uh, um, or more lots of call options then my situation today have been pathetic and probably today i would have had to exit with a loss anyway the point of making this video is not that not to discuss my profit and loss but the point of this is very unusual price action and why i am holding on to my short positions and even in some account where i am uh, managing the position so i am carrying the loss why According to any basic uh, my trading uh, basic uh, trading setup, I should have uh, by um, uh, uh, by today me, around 115 to 215 I should have exited the position because all my stop loss criteria were hit. For example, the RSI relative strength index uh, moved above from below uh, 60 to above 60. Uh, yesterday it was around 51. Today it closed around 62 relative strength index the uh, super trend one hour resistance was also comfortably taken out by the midday only but what i found very peculiar today is the magnitude of the price action and uh, the uh, that there was no respite in the rally this was a non-stop rally now this is a 450 plus a green candle and i would give you a simple exercise so today i have removed all the indicators and i'm just looking at the price candle when was the last time we had a we green candle of this magnitude exceeding 400 points one is probably here here it also it was too, uh, close to that 385 and 2 percent but you see uh, uh, that was on 4th april and immediately after that we had formed the top and from where we had the uh, uh, first big fall up to 15,000 uh, 15,800 level right uh, again if you see here also the top was formed uh, another important point if you see the tops that are being formed uh, here the highest point was 18,000 in this year that is on uh, so that was in 19th October 21 last year from which was the highest uh, point in the nifty till now till date uh, closing basis was high 18434 highest was around 18600 now once that level is reached uh, 18000 plus level was reached it was not sustainable it was not sustainable and it happened on 19th october right so what day is 19th october if we check in the calendar uh, let me just check in my calendar October, October 21, 2021 day. day. So that was a Tuesday. Interesting. Today is also a Tuesday. So th that was the day the market peaked. And uh, so that was a Tuesday. And uh, uh, if we see, so that would be then... Uh, October 2021, just one minute, October 2021, last Thursday, I'm just checking in my calculator, Thursday, October 2021, last Thursday date. That was 28. So let us see 
in this chart where were we in 28 october so let's go here october So you see that is the 28th October, the, uh, 28th October closing was 17,857. So we closed in spite of the fact that uh, uh, the, there we had peaked around 18,400, we expired below 18,000, uh, 18, right? And since then that pattern has been there. Again, on 17th Jan, the peak was formed around uh, 18,350 uh, uh, on the closing basis. After that, there was this immediate sharp reversal and we expired uh, well below 18,000. So, if you see the history of the Nifty, till now we have never expired above 18,000 on a monthly expiry. That is on the last Thursday of the uh, month we have never uh, closed above 18,000 so that is a significant observation and please correct me if i am wrong so that is one of the reasons why i feel so confident about this trade i was particularly the shorting of the 18,000 call option although today it seems to have gone horribly wrong but i am still holding on to it and now you see here also we closed closed uh, uh, 18th August that was also a uh, let me check 18th August date 18th August 18th August 2022 18th August was a Thursday here also we closed below 18,000 and then there was a sharp reversal. Then there was this sharp reversal. So whenever number one point we have not expired above 18,000 in any of the expiries till now. And uh, so that I can say confidently because uh, before uh, the 29th or uh, 20th October 2021, 18,000 level was once again touched only on 27th September 21 and before that that was the last time right before that we have never seen the 18,000 on a closing basis so let me just check once more what happened on 27th September 27th Please do check this data point from your side, 27th September that was a monday and again you see by th the thursday expiry we closed below 18000 sharply below 18000 so in the history of the nifty it has never happened that we have expired uh, uh, expired above 18000 and uh, whenever 18000 has been breached within next 5 to 6 candle we have been is uh, way below 18,000. So these are two very important data points to remember. And uh, today's candle, as I said, a 450 plus candle, if you go back, you will find only on 21st, 2021, 2021 January, 2021 February, here you have to go on 1st February, 2021. What was that event? That was the big budget announcement, and it was called. It was a Nirmala Shetharaman candle, 
which kind of reversed the downtrend and started the new bull rally that was because of many important announcement made there